A hobbyist club in Illinois says that one of their balloons is missing and may have been shot down by the U.S. military last weekend. A group in San Jose says that hobby balloons have been in the skies for decades, despite only now getting worldwide attention. KTV's Mark Sayer takes a look. This video from 2014 shows a high-altitude balloon being launched from South San Jose as part of a STEM outreach effort with Menlo College. The balloon was provided by the San Jose-based California Near Space Project, where Ron Meadows is founder. The students are learning by flying these flights around the world. They're, they're learning communications, aviation. The interest in high-altitude balloons began in early February when the U.S. military tracked and ultimately shot down what the government says was a Chinese spy balloon. But a week later, the military shot down three more balloons over U.S. and Canadian airspace, which could turn out to be nothing more than scientific or hobbyist balloons. You know, I knew at some point this would happen. I didn't think it would happen to this degree. Ron Meadows says the latest technology, called super pressure balloons, fly well above commercial aircraft and carry only small location transmitters. But as these tracking maps show, they can ride the jet stream and travel all the way around the world. One stayed aloft for two years and made 35 trips around the Earth. Through all these years, we've never have a, had a complaint from one single government. No one's complained. But Meadows says the recent incidents could prompt changes, including better identifying the balloons by way of some kind of database. To give our government, other governments, a better idea of the flight, what it is, and maybe um, they would have a description of what tracking or tracker or tracking system they're using on the flight so all governments would feel comfortable with um, these causing no problems. As for that Menlo College balloon, it eventually reached 89,000 feet and came down on its own outside of Modesto. It's not going to hurt anyone, any place, anywhere. Reporting from San Jose, Mark Sayer, KTVU Fox 2 News.